Certainly a breezy day here in Western Mass yesterday, but nothing like what they felt on top of the rock pile on top of New England at Mount Washington. I've paused this data point at 7 p.m. yesterday where they had 160 mile per hour wind gust, but this is much more than what our models were indicating. So what was happening? Well, wind goes along the surface and then orographically gets bent up towards the summit, but still the models weren't indicating anything like what we were seeing there. So we have to look at our upper air charts. At 6,400 feet, we see that there's what we call an inversion setting up, basically temperature rising with height. And what that effectively does is it prevents any air from rising further and it acts as a cap almost. So wind is blocked from the surface. It's blocked from rising higher. So it's almost being squeezed right into the summit. And that means local acceleration of the wind. And you get things like this 171 mile per hour wind gust. That is the strongest February wind on record for Mount Washington. And this is an example, a real life example of Bernoulli's principle. Now back home, currently